What's going on YouTube? Today is one exciting day. I gotta be careful where I point the camera because my garage is a absolute disaster. We uh, got it all cleaned up and my grandma and grandpa decided to move into our old little ha uh, house behind my parents. So we had to clean the rest of our stuff out of it, but guess where it ended up? Back in my garage after I cleaned it. So, Caitlin's over here doing a little something, so I'll show you what, I'll show you what's so exciting about today. stuff like this we are uncapping honey this is our uncapping station we're gonna spin the honey out here for the frames that um, it doesn't come out past you'll probably use this okay. and we'll just roll it all right so I'll use that instead so that's what she is doing if you can't tell we are extracting honey today I've got 16 frames of honey that I pulled the other day and we are going to extract it. Don't push too hard. You just want to open the cells. And we got Olivia out here. If you can see her, that's bright. She's swimming. But anyway, I got to finish cleaning this up. I got to show you all my sign. My pure living for outdoor sign. My buddy over at Daddy's Life made me this. And uh, I think he's offering to make one for everybody that has... 10,000 subs or more, he'll make it for free. It's made out of cedar. But uh, I imagine if you don't have 10,000 subs, we could probably get something worked out. If you want. I'm pretty sure if you want one and you don't have 10,000 subs, we can get something worked out. But he's giving them away for free if you have 10,000 subs or more. I'm sure he'll sell them. Uh, I don't know what he'll charge for them, but I'll put his link right up here. And... Uh, you guys go to his channel and sub him and uh, see if he'll make you a sign. But anyways, we're going to get to working here. I got to finish drying this out. Honey and water don't go good together, so this has to be completely dry. But anyways, I'll show you all the rest of this uh, honey extracting business we got going on here. So see you in a minute. Get in the coffee. You're going to get a coffee? A teacup. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? I'm getting the cup. I'm getting the bug. You're getting the bug? Yeah. You're getting the bug for some coffee? Yeah. Uh, you need to get daddy a coffee. All right, so we got a frame that's been uncapped and she used this to roll over it to bust open the cells so the honey can come out on both sides. Now I'm gonna put it over here in the honey extractor. If you guys haven't already, be sure Hit that like button. I actually smashed that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to my channel and come over and uh, join the fun. Also, hit that bell if you wanna see any of my videos that come up. I try to post a video at least every other day, if not every day. So if you guys would, help me out. All right, back to the video. This is a hot knife. And it works really well on the frames that the, the honey sticks out far enough. I didn't know how hard I was supposed to press. I didn't want to like be wasting honey. You're not wasting any honey. They'll rebuild it. Okay. I get a knife for you. 
I'm getting it for mama. Go inside and get one. All right, so that's that. We got it all decapped. I'm keeping all this good honeycomb over here. We're gonna put it in a jar. All that's decapped. All that, no, that's all honey. We're gonna take it over here, put it in the extractor, and uh, we're gonna sling some honey. But anyway, so all this stuff that I got here, this, this, the honey extractor, I gotta tell my good buddy John thanks for letting me borrow it. I've had it for like a year now. Um, he has some honeybees, but he's been sick and hasn't been able to get to work his honeybees lately. So, John, I'll be giving you some honey again. Um, but your equipment's doing me some good. Thanks, man. All right, so we're gonna sling some honey. We're gonna sling some honey, yeah? Shut the house close. It is, I'm right close. This thing's super wobbly now. Trying to sling honey out. We're gonna come up with a better solution. Let's hold the video camera. Okay, so I, you spin this side for about I don't know ten minutes, and it. This is as good as I can get it. I'm just gonna have to bear down and hold on to it. I'm gonna buy me a better extractor one of these days, but right now, my, luckily my buddy John let me use this one, so this is what I got. So, in here. So I spun out this side. Now what we're gonna do is flip them. And now we're gonna spin this side out. See the honey is slinging to the sidewalls. It slings out to the sidewall and it drains down to the bottom. And then I got over here a spigot. These two frames are done. We'll go on to the next ones. We got 16 to do, so uh, 14 more to go. I would eat this for you guys just to show you how great it is so you could just see it in my mouth just the joy of my taste buds just exploding but we're gonna save this and put it in a jar of honey so somehow the bees have managed to smell us and what we're doing I've got bees buzzing around in here now <laughs> I don't know how they found it but tricky little suckers I'm gonna let you watch me spin this this is like a a monkey show. Check this out. It needs a wider base. Thor, get over here. 
Well, I did a little little bit of engineering. I have this tabletop I'm not finished with. Put on a table, so we've got it strapped down to it. It's still wobbly, but that's four frames. It's almost up to the little turning deal already. 12 more to go. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got so far. I've got to finish these spinning these two frames and I got one more frame left and I'm finally done. Got some bees in there. To me, bees came in here and found my honey. I'm gonna finish spinning these out like so. Round and round they go. I actually want to make sure that they're opposite of each other like that. So, got all that. Got all this. About to crunch all this up. Even filled some jars with some comb. So. Yeah, I'm gonna finish spinning these and I'm gonna show you how I filter it to make sure I don't get any bees in it. I uh, don't get any, I don't get anything in it that it needs to be in, doesn't need to be in there. So um, I'm also gonna show you how it's pretty much, it's raw honey. This is straight out of the hive. Um, this is the best honey you can get. Well, it's not getting any of the uh, stuff that's in the honey that's good for you. Um, I won't take any of that out. I'm gonna strain it through a, a strainer. It's going to be a micro strainer. It goes through two stages of straining, but the strainer is not so small that it takes out the pollen um, and all the good stuff that's for you. It just, it just takes out like the wax, um, any dead bees that somehow managed to get in here, which because they're coming in. I've got hives here at my house, in, which you all have seen, and they found it, but it started raining, so I opened the doors back up because I'm so hot. It is so hot. But let me finish this up, and then uh, when I'm done, I'll show you guys some of the honey coming out of the extractor and into my five-gallon bucket. So I've pretty much done away with using the hot, the hot iron. I'm just using the uncapping roller. Seems to be working faster, and it's not destroying the comb as much. So it seems like I'm getting more honey out of it too. So that's what I'm using. I'll show y'all how this thing works. This thing's just like a paintbrush. This is really cool too, I wanna to show y'all something. It's different. All this, that's all darker honey. All this up here, that's like a light, a light honey. All right, we're gonna spin this out. All right, I got that last deal spun out. Let's see how much honey we got. It's almost to the top of the spinner. It's probably a five gallon bucket full. We're gonna find out, so stay tuned. I'm also gonna show you what I'm gonna do with all this. Cause that's a lot of honey. Bees are everywhere, it's raining outside. I thought, well, I'm safe to put the garage doors down, but apparently not, so. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I got here. So we got a five grade, five gallon food grade bucket. Then I put a paint strainer. Then this right here is a honey, this is a honey strainer. And it goes on there like that. And then this goes on there. So I'm actually straining it three times. This, this strainer right here, it doesn't do a whole lot. It just catches bugs. So if any bees, any of those bees got in here and they came out here, then this will catch them. And then I got the paint strainer. So we're straining it three times. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna open this, open this valve right here. Watch the honey flow, baby.
this is gonna take a while. So we're gonna let this uh, honey run out of here and strain and I'll show you the final product. It's looking good though. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is what we decapped all the honey in earlier. This is all the that's left over. So I filled up, this is my second five gallon bucket and this one is full to here. So we're gonna get two five gallon buckets full of honey out of what we did today. But I wanted to show you what I do with this now. I should have took my honeybees that are here at my house out to my other bee yard because they're everywhere in my garage. I'll just have to keep dumping this in and letting the honey drain out of it. I got a spoon over here. I'll stir it up and kind of help it fall to the bottom. I've been stirring that around. The longer it sits here, the more honey will drain out of it. I'll end up melting this down and making, uh, I might make, I might give it to Dutch. What do you think Dutch? You want this? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll give it to Dutch. He can make some beard balm. All right, I had to go change shirts because the other one was drenched. But anyways, uh, let me show you the last, that last little bit that we just did. That's gonna just sit there. All that wax, all that honey's gonna drain out of it. And um, I'll have to let that sit there for a while. There's all that wax, it's gonna take a bit for it. If it was hot out, which it's not right now, it's actually 80, like 82, it would actually go through there a lot faster. It'd be thinner, but um, it's a little thick right now. But that's all I got for y'all today. It might be a long video, so I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all could come along with me while I uh, extracted this honey just to kind of see how it's done. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and until the next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya.